My name is Matt Derner. I'm the manager of business development and pump systems programs at the Hydraulic Institute. And I'm here to talk about our energy rating program. The new AHI energy rating program is a simple metric, clear label, and public database of rated products that are used by utilities to incentivize their ratepayers to purchase the most efficient pumps. You might be asking, why create the energy rating program? Simply put, after working with the power utilities and the energy efficiency organizations, we at HI noticed a definitive need to provide a resource to increase the efficiency of pumping systems. Let's go ahead and take a look. Consider the pump the ubiquitous unsung hero in the daily lives of human beings, from distributing water to generating electricity. Utilized in virtually every sector of industry, pumps are critical to individuals, industries, and economies alike. But studies from the United States Department of Energy confirm that pumping systems are energy intensive. In fact, pumping systems across all industrial sectors represent the highest energy consumption among motor-driven systems. Pumps, however, also represent the greatest potential for energy and cost savings. And to realize these savings, regulations and incentives have been developed to promote high efficiency pumps in the marketplace. The Hydraulic Institute, a leading industry nonprofit organization that sets standards for pumps and pumping systems, has developed a pump energy rating system that rates bare pumps, pumps and motors, and pumps, motors and drives. Hydraulic Institute's energy rating allows for commensurable comparisons of energy consumed from pumps in the marketplace. From the most consumptive to the least, the higher the ER is on the scale, the more efficient that pump is compared with others in the marketplace. Hydraulic Institute's energy rating is a direct calculation from the regulatory required pump energy index value. The energy rating value enables easy calculation of actual power savings over other energy ratings. A pump with an energy rating of 30, for example, consumes 20% less power than a pump with an ER of 10, assuming DOE's average load profile. Multiplying actual power savings by operating hours and cost of electricity yields the estimated cost savings. For example, in a typical 50 horsepower system operating 5,000 hours per year, using the average commercial energy rates in the United States of 11 cents per kilowatt hour, a pump with an ER of 30 will have an estimated annual savings of up to $4,100 compared to a pump with an ER of 10. An ER from the Hydraulic Institute also communicates savings when a motor and or control is added to a pump listed in the Hydraulic Institute's energy rating database. This allows calculation of a new energy rating based on the data for the motor and or control added to the bare pump, which allows the option to generate a unique certificate specific to each pump configuration. Utilities are now incentivizing pumps that are listed on the Hydraulic Institute's energy rating database. If you're considering replacing or upgrading your pump, look for the Hydraulic Institute's energy rating label and review listed pumps in the Hydraulic Institute's energy rating database. For more information on this topic, visit er.pumps.org. As you just saw, the HI Energy Rating Program responds to the need for public utilities to identify products which increase the efficiency of pumping systems. Additionally, the ER program encourages utilities to utilize products that are in excess of the Department of Energy's PEI minimal compliant products. This has resulted in the development of prescriptive incentive programs. These programs will accelerate the adoption of more efficient products into the marketplace and contribute towards broad-based energy savings. Currently, public utilities are providing incentives to pump distributors and end users for selling and purchasing qualified label products. The amount of pumps and water wastewater facilities represent an opportunity to reduce a facility's energy bill. Replacing older pumps in a system with newer, more efficient pumps results in energy savings. What's more, there is a larger benefit if a utility has an incentive program in place. How can a pump model be added to the energy rating database? Participants that wish to list pumps in the ER database must test in HI certified laboratories and adhere to additional data verification requirements. 
Who has access to the Energy Rating Program? The Energy Rating Program is a public resource located at er.pumps.org. The database of labeled pumps is available to the public. Anyone can participate. Participation is not limited as long as program requirements are adhered to. What is the difference between PEI and ER metrics? PEI is a regulatory metric required by the DOE. It describes the ratio of weighted average input power of the tested pump over the weighted average input power of a pump and motor that are minimally compliant with DOE's regulations. HIER is a metric directly derived from the PEI that describes the percent power savings for the pump over the minimally compliant pump. The energy rating is easily understood where higher values mean better energy consumption and allows for calculations of a new energy rating when motors or variable speed drives are added, capturing the total energy savings. Are there any current incentive programs for ER labeled pumps? Yes. The Hydraulic Institute is assisted with the development of the incentive programs at PG&E, XL Energy, and the Northwest Energy Efficiency Alliance. How can I capture additional energy savings from extended products such as VFDs? The energy rating database allows distributors, packagers, and end users the ability to capture the additional energy savings from extended products by using standard calculations from the DOE and generating the ER certificate that displays the new extended product energy rating. If you're interested in learning more about HI's energy rating program, please visit us at pumps.org forward slash energy efficiency or email me directly at mderner at pumps.org. Thank you.